Right then, hello and welcome back to Formula 1. Last time we completed round 4, which was of course the Spanish Grand Prix at Catalonia, and we managed to win on the final lap after overtaking Michael Schumacher, ripping off his rear wing in the process. So we're now leading the point standings, but we're going to head now to round 5 of the 1995 World Championship, which is of course the Monaco Grand Prix. <laughs> Welcome to picturesque Monte Carlo for the Monaco Grand Prix. Indeed. Thank you very much, Murray Walker, as always. So the Principality, that is the Monaco Grand Prix. Now, there is a slight error with this race. Um, all 26 cars will start, but in real life, the uh, Simtech team of Schiattarella and Verstappen uh, failed to qualify. They didn't reach the 105% qualifying rule, uh, so they didn't actually take part. And of course, this is the last race before the team went into liquidation, and then we were left with only 24 cars on the grid thereafter. So I think they start near the back. No idea if this is going to be in dry or wet conditions. We've had two wet races on the trot. Hopefully this is going to be dry. Um, if it's wet, then, you know, it's no big deal. Monaco, you can get away with uh, losing your wings and this, that, and the other. Only the front wing, though. If you lose a rear wing, it's, you know, you do have to pit. Uh, so Schiattarella then starts in 19th, and what about Verstappen? He starts 22nd. Again, in real life, they didn't actually take part, uh, so only 24 cars were on the grid that day. Uh, I'm starting at the back, though, with a new way in the footwork heart. And it's raining again, so uh, three races on the trot, it's going to be raining. And away we go. Now, the thing that you want to do at the start immediately is to lose your front wing. Um, because the car is a lot easier to handle if you don't have your front wing. The cornering ability when you do have the full downforce is a little bit strange. Um, so you can handle the car better if you don't have your front wing uh, at the very start, so I am going to try and rip off the front wing as soon as possible. Oh, there we go, it's gone. Now, another downside about the wet race at Monaco, oh, excuse me, is going through the tunnel. It's incredibly dark. You have no lighting or anything at all, and because everything is so damp and dreary, um, yeah, you've got no lighting, as you'll see now. And it's just literally like darkness. Excuse me. Get out of the way, please. Can't see what's going on. Oh, gone into the rear of the car. Yes, I did hit the barrier. We just cut the chicane. So it's fine. This is of no concern. We will make up the places very quickly. But yeah, if you lose your front wing, you find that the steering ability of the car is a lot easier. Right, straight up the inside, up to 11th. Get past the McLaren. Oh, and didn't want that to happen. Oh, it's fine. I've just done a small pirouette. Excuse me. Oh, that's his rear wing gone. Right, you're gonna go. Oh no! Ah, you can't see how close you are when you're going through the tunnel. You just cannot see how close you are to the car in front. Um, I'm just gonna cut the chicane a little bit and go into the barrier. Yeah, that's fine. Right, we're in eleventh, so you know, not great, but we will catch up very quickly because you do lap cars quite often around Monaco. And the AI do get caught up on that as well. So the leader, say Schumacher, who's leading currently, he will get caught up on the back markers. And you can just reel him in, so it's fine. 
We're going to get past the McLaren again. Oh, excuse me. It was a collision, Murray, for goodness sake. Right, up into eighth. And it usually does. Yes, we know. So after all of that messing about, we're still catching up very quickly. Again, wet races on this game, so easy. And there we go, we're plunged into complete darkness again. You can just about see the, uh, the lines on the road. No, don't spit. Oh, for goodness sake. Drop back down to eighth. There you go. Now I'm back up to sixth. So leaders haven't really creeped away that much. No, you don't. Oh, oh again. The bloody curbs. No, it was just a little bit of contact with the curbs. Get out the way. Get out the way. Oh, my word. Get out the way. So we've got to navigate the bloody tunnel, which is... Oh, awful. That's what I was supposed to have done last lap, but... Calm down, Murray, for God's sake. Yeah, you will hear that a hell of a lot. He's into the barriers. I will make contact with the barriers more often than not. But at least we're in the points. Let's just rip all these rear wings off, shall we? Alright, there's one. So we ripped off Herbert's wing. And we'll take off Hakkinen's. There we go. And we'll take off Lacey's. Like so. So now we're up into third. Oh, can't see the barrier. Yes, it was contact with the barrier. It's fine. Oh. Luckily, the only damage you do pick up is to your front and rear wings. So, I mean, clouting into the barrier is not going to ruin your suspension or anything else. So, if you just remove your front wing, then your car is pretty much invincible. So, Schumacher and Hill are just up ahead. And this is, of course, a 19-lap race as well. So, we've got plenty of time. I do hope that the uh, the next round of the championship is going to be dry. You know, the wet weather is fine because it, it produces easy victories for me. But, you know, there's no real fight. So, okay, Hill, you know, you're my teammate and everything, but I need to take your rear wing for my collection, please. 
Just about to see his rain light. Okay. He got off lucky that day. Yes, I've hit the barrier. It's fine. I'm not trying hard at all. Very easy race. Yeah, so we're only five seconds back from Schumacher, and there he is. So we should take the lead of the race pretty much at the end of this lap, if not sooner. Or maybe not. Yes, I hit the barrier, Murray. Calm yourself. You got the fastest lap time, no? 126.8. Oh, look at that. That was a perfect Tokyo drift. Heading into the tunnel. There we go, that's what I wanted to do. The previous time to try to cut the chicane. Come back here, Schumacher. <laughs> the enthusiasm and then, that's a Williams. Alright, come back here, Schumacher, please. I want a Benetton wing for my collection. Race order. In first place, Michael Schumacher. Second, David Coulthard. In third, Damon Hill. In fourth place, Gerhard Berger. Hang on, it's Coulthard. Yep, yeah, cool. His wing's gone. Uh, so that'll promote Hill into second place. And it should be another 1-2 for the Williams team. And that means uh, good points for the Constructors' Championship. But yeah, if you ever try and drive around here with the front wing, it is very difficult. In this game, anyway. And we're coming up onto the lap traffic, which is... Uh, that shouldn't be a problem. We're going to just... Play billiards with the uh, with the cars. Take off their rear wings. Collect as many as possible. So there is the forty. Try and get Simtech up as high as possible. All right, so he's going to go into the pits. Come on, give me your wing. I want your wing, please. Thank you. There's a big gap now between myself, Hill, and third place. Get out of the way. So Schumacher didn't lose too many places. He's still in the top six. Then you got Panis and Irvine, the, uh, the actual top six. So Schumacher is fourth. Excuse me. It was a collision, Murray. Now, which team is that? It was a collision. 
I can't remember which one the Simtech team is. Oh well. Is that the Simtech team? I think that might be. The uh, the dark coloured machine. Go away. Why would I give up? I'm in the lead. I want Murray to tell me the driver of the car in front. But he doesn't seem to want to tell me who that driver is. Right, so that's a Martini, so I'm definitely assuming then the black car is a Simtech. So Martini is going to go into the pits. I haven't. What do you mean I've overdone it? I was just going around the corner. It was fine. Bloody hell, he's as bad as uh, Scotty with his over-exaggeration. So, I only got nine laps to go. Oh, for goodness sake. Well, here comes Damon. Mm, I'm going to have to take his rear wing off. Come on, Damon, go past. There we go. There we go. Not anymore. Yes, that is a Williams. Right, squeeze past Hill. We'll go into the pits. We'll stay in the points though, which is a main thing. So that's still, you know, however many points is going to be towards the constructors' title. That is. Ooh. Yep. So the Simtech is the black car. Thank you very much, Murray. That is all I wanted to know. So we're going to try and get the Simtech team on their last Grand Prix as high a position as possible. Even though they're completely slow as balls. Right, eight laps remaining. So, Michael Schumacher has made it up into second place again, though. So, Hill is probably going to drop down into third or fourth. Ah, uh, so bad you can't see what's going on in the tunnel. The lighting for that is uh, pretty bad. I don't think we're going to be catching any other back markers, so the Simtek team won't be able to gain any more positions. I know there's a car in front, but... Best thing to do is to try and rip their rear wing... Marie, please be quiet while I'm talking, please. Um, but yeah, it is easier to or better to take the rear wings off at the start of the lap. So then they're coasting pretty much for the, uh, the remaining lap before they have to go into the pits. No, I hit the car and then hit the barrier. There we go. Another wing from my collection. Squeeze past you, thank you very much. I haven't overdone it. Will you stop? I've, I'm fine. I'm just going around the corner. The car is screeching a little bit because I haven't got a front wing. I haven't overdone it. I'm fine. Relax. Right, 
Roberts. Take your wing off if I can. Actually, I'm going to wait until we get past the, uh, the pit entry. So then they have to crawl around the track without a rear wing. So that means the Simtech will catch up. Actually, I don't know if the Simtech will catch up. They're probably going at roughly the same speed. That's a McLaren. We'll take your wing off as well. There we go. Yep, caught his wings gone. Well, it'd be nice if we can get the Simtech into the points, which won't happen. Because we haven't got enough laps to do it, and the Simtech is just too slow, it won't catch up, so. But we'll try and get him up into the best possible position as their send-off. Yes, yeah, so there was contact. I see his rain light, so I know where he is, roughly. I want your wing. Thank you. Right away. Oh, so we've lapped a new A twice. I'm going to wait until you get past the pit entry again. And take your wing off. Uh, we got 22 seconds from myself and Schumacher. Alright, take your wing. It was a collision. There you go. Sorry, Brundle. I mean, to be fair to Brundle, I mean, it was only two years after he became a pundit for ITV during their Formula 1 coverage, so... You know, I'm just uh, pushing him along. Right, let's get your rear wing. And get yours as well, if possible. Did I take your wing? No, I didn't. Go on, get past, get past, get past. I want your wing. We're close to the end of the lap, so I'll wait until we get past the pit entry again. Oh, Schumacher's dropped down to third. I just seen it flicker on the side there. He was second and third. So not unless he got caught up with the uh, back markers as well. Oh no, he's back up into second. It is between him and Herbert. Hill was in fourth, Panis and Frentzen. All right, did I take your wing? Yep, your wing is gone. It is a Sauber. Missing a wing. <laughs> and again, the enthusiasm to It's a Williams. It reminds me of that advert that featured Damon Hill and Murray Walker. Um, I can't remember what pizza chain it was, but it was really funny. If you haven't seen it, then just uh, go on YouTube and put in advert Damon Hill, Murray Walker, pizza, and it will show up. Well, we've lost a bit of time to Johnny Herbert, who has got past Schumacher, who's now 15 seconds adrift. So we've only got, what are we on, 15? So we've only got three laps to go after this one.
There we go. Creeping back up again. 16 seconds. Yes, it is. Back into the darkness of the tunnel. That's a Williams. He's into the barriers. All right, we'll take your wing off. That was probably Badoer. <laughs> I am trying hard to take their wings off, I will admit. All right, let's get past whoever that is. I'm assuming that's Badoer. Oh, Schumacher's dropped back a bit further. He's now into fourth. I think that might have been a Simtech. So, yeah, two laps to go. And we're going to win by pretty much almost a quarter of a lap. But again, I'm just hoping that the next round is going to be dry because I don't want this, the rest of the races in this series to be wet because that would just make it a bit boring. I, I'm fine, Murray. I was in complete control. Everything is absolutely fine. I hope saying that and I uh, spin in the tunnel. Oh my word, come on. Yes, it was contact with multiple barriers. I think I've had about 50 hits of the barrier so far during this race, so. One of many. No, because you wouldn't. If you're leading a race, you wouldn't give up. Unless either you had a mechanical failure or something like that. You're not, not just going to say, oh, I'm leading the race, I'm bored. I'm going to give up. Because that would be silly. All right, we're only 12 seconds back now from Herbert. All right, give me your wing. Thank you. I thought I was going to be another perfect drift. Oh well, at least we're going to have a couple of new names on the scoreboard at least after this race. Uh, I tried to get his wing. Give me your wing. I want a complete collection. Thank you. Yes, there was. No, I'm hitting the back of this car because he won't get out of the way. Oh, you cheeky little swine. All right, you bugger off into the pit. There we go. And I'm going to win the race. Hooray, a very easy Monaco Grand Prix. Indeed. So there we go then. We win from Johnny Herbert, Damon Hill, Olivier Panis, Michael Schumacher drops down to fifth. So there must have been a problem with his car. Well, not really because mechanical failures are not a thing in this game. And Heinz Harold Frentzen was sixth. So the uh, points standings after five rounds in, I'm leading by 11 points. Damon Hill is second with 30. Uh, Johnny Herbert moves up into third with 18. Michael Schumacher up into fourth with 11. Uh, last of the point scores at the moment is still Rubens Barrichello with two. Actually, that is a lie because uh, Heitzhold Frentzen uh, did come sixth, so he has got one point, but only goes down to the top 10. And the manufacturers then, Williams leading the way with 71, Benetton with 29, McLaren with eight, seven for Ferrari, Leisure with six, Jordan with six, Tyrrell with two, and Sauber with one.
And there we go, that was the Monaco Grand Prix. Next time is going to be the Canadian Grand Prix. And again, Simtech have been removed from the championship now, so only 24 cars on the grid. So yeah, I will see you next time for that. So thank you very much for watching, as always. And I'll see you for round six of the 1995 Formula One World Championship next time. So take care, stay safe, and bye for now.